wet napping is the term that refers to the manufacture of stone points. Napping, K-N-A-P, is an ancient Germanic word that means to snap or to break. We have coastal plains chert that comes in huge boulders. And so it's a matter of reducing that down to a functional size. And we use traditional tools after that, deer antlers, moose antlers, uh, other stones, and gradually reduce that mass down into something that you can shape into a projectile point. And the process is, is fairly simple. So you remove a mass from a boulder, and then using the tools of your choice, you reduce that piece thinner and thinner and thinner in a, in a thinning process. The essential point is you've got to have a striking platform that sometimes occurs naturally or sometimes you have to create using your tools. And when you hit that, that striking platform with your antler billet, it shaves off flakes and you simply repeat that process. One of the important points also is to provide support to that stone. When you hit that stone and you remove a flake, what you have done is created a very, very weak edge on that rock. So if you hit it again in that same place, that weak edge is going to simply explode. Your billet's not going to catch the stone and it's not going to transfer that energy through that stone to achieve a flake. So you take some sort of stone, uh, sandstone works perfectly, and you scrape that edge until it is strong again. It'll hold that force and make a flake. So we are getting close to the end and we have something that is beginning to look like a projectile point, but we have uh, some problems with symmetry on this side, so I'm going to address that quickly. Ah, nice thinning flake there. Good. We got one more here. Now, we're just going to put some simple notches in each side, and that will be for halfening it onto an antler or a piece of wood to make a knife or a little spear. It is a side notch, knife blade, mm, probably like a Savannah River stem point, which is pretty common for this area. And that's good because it's from Coastal Plains Church, which is uh, we got it fairly close to the Savannah River. If you found this in a field, you'd be very happy.